Hello, everyone. Welcome to our course of international civil litigation in China. I'm Meng Yu, and this is a series produced by China Justice Observer. It is our very first episode today, and we're going to deal with the very first question that you may have: What is international civil litigation in China? International civil litigation is also known in China. As the cases involving foreign elements, or sometimes called the foreign-related cases, it is very important because once the case is identified as a foreign-related case, a set of rules designated for international civil litigation would apply, including international civil jurisdiction rules, the choice of law rules, and the rules on recognition and enforcement of foreign judgments. So in China, the approach to identifying the formulated case is called the three element test. Under the test, if one of the following three elements, that is the parties, the subject matter, and juristic fact, has connection with a foreign jurisdiction, the case in question will be identified as the one involving foreign elements. And here, the following case of a Beijing Chao Lai is a very good example to show how Chinese courts would apply the three element test. So, in this case, the parties concerned are two companies: one incorporated in Beijing by a Chinese citizen, the other incorporated in Beijing by a South Korean citizen. The companies they signed a shared transfer agreement. And dispute arises later out of the contract. The litigants they argue that this is the case involving foreign elements, but the court draws a different conclusion after applying the three element test. And now let's apply the test together, shall we? Element number one: the parties. In this case, the two companies, right? In China, the nationality of a company is established by the criterion of the place of incorporation. Since both companies are incorporated in China, the companies per se, be it invested in by a Chinese or foreigner, are Chinese companies. Element number two: the subject matter. The shares to be transferred is that of a golf club company incorporated in China. So has nothing to do with the foreign jurisdiction, right? And element number three, the juristic fact: the signing and performance of the contract occurred in China. So no foreign element is involved either. As a result, a Chinese court identified this case as a purely domestic case. In other words, the set of international civil litigation rules. Irrelevant and not applicable in this very case, and that's all for our today's course. We will keep updating the series on a weekly basis. If you are interested in our this course or would like to know more about the cross-border dispute resolution in China, please feel free to visit our website. It's ChinaJusticeObserver.com. Thank you. Bye bye.